Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 22nd, 2022. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of a disappointment, maybe, for some folks. Um, I don't think it should have been all that big a surprise, though, as we were pressing resistance levels in the chart that we just took a little pause, took a little breath in the market. We had um, sharply rising commodity prices yesterday that um, put a little damper on that excitement for the upside move. And then Jerome Powell coming out with some tough talk also um you know shook shook the market's nerves just a little bit but we're re trying to get a bullish move going here in the pre-market so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the tuesday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, we have breached the downtrends in these charts, and that's a nice feeling to finally see a little bit of a relief rally coming in the market. But at the same time, we still have some concerns out there. If, we, if I were to draw a nice straight line right across here, you can see there is significant price resistance in the chart here just above. In fact, I could slide that down even a little bit more and we can see that resistance level here in the diamonds chart all the way across this area um, that could present a little bit of a challenge for those bulls yet this morning. And it's where we could really see, it would be logical to see um, those bears kind of lining up in here to provide us a little bit of resistance. But at the same time, those bulls seem pretty committed here in trying to shake off the concerns of rising commodity prices, those oil prices surging yesterday. We've got um, uh, bond yields also surging this morning as Jerome Powell says that they're likely going to be a little bit more aggressive on um, inflation because it is truly out of control and um, that you know th that could also inspire the bears so let's kind of keep that in mind if we can press through these resistance levels that would be interesting here in the chart pushing on through and if those bears happen to come back into play and they get busy well we'll want to watch this level right in here for that price support in the chart now keep in mind after such a dramatic rise it wouldn't be a major um, surprise to see the markets kind of pause just rest here for a little bit maybe consolidate a little bit of back and forth could be possible as well so kind of keep that in mind now our technicals on the charts if you take a look right in here we've um, managed to hold that 50-day moving average at the close yesterday and keep in mind we have our 200-day moving average just above what we don't want to see is we don't want to see another failure here at the 50-day moving average because that could be a problem for us um, um, in the long run. We also want to keep in mind that although we're feeling this bullish rush and this this fear of missing out, we want to remember that we still have a lot more data coming our way later this week with um, a more Fed Chair talk on Wednesday and then also um, we're going to hit durable goods orders that uh, cons consensus estimates suggest that they will decline. So we'll want to watch those things carefully and just plan your risk carefully because there is quite a little bit of risk in this sharp rally. Let's take a look at our um, SPY. SPY. Also, breaking that downtrend, we have these resistance levels above to uh, be conscious of in the chart. We'll want to watch that as we try to test up into this area, noticing that this is actually a fairly significant level of price resistance up in here on that chart with this top formation that we have. So we'll want to watch that carefully. 
And if those bears re-engage for some reason today, we'll also want to be watching this little area right here for some price support. And once again, I don't think we could rule out the possibility that maybe a little pause, a little bit of consolidating rest in here might be due after such a strong rally to the upside. So keep a close eye on that today. And we'll also want to take a quick look at those um, technicals here in the chart and noticing we held above that 50 day moving average. That's a good good sign and we're still struggling with that 200 day moving average and let's keep in mind we still have that 50 crossing over that 200 day so a failure here could be critical we'll want to watch that closely and then if we take a look at our qqq qqq still remains rather challenged and yesterday had some um back and forth in that chart. Notice we surged up here at the end of the day on that chart. Again, we broke that downtrend, but we'll still want to be paying attention to this level of resistance up here that transfers back, you know, quite, quite a ways here. We have a lot of resistance in the chart right through this area. So if we can challenge that today, that would be interesting. And if those bears get some inspiration, well, we'll want to watch maybe down here in this area for that little area of price support um, in that chart and again don't think we can rule out that possibility that we could just kind of pause and consolidate here for a little bit keeping in mind that we challenged our 50-day moving average yesterday weren't quite able to deal with that um, that 50-day moving average is still declining rather sharply and we're going to try and challenge that again here this morning with a pre-market pop so watch that closely will that pre-market pop bring out the buyers and uh, find us able to follow through or will that pre-market pop turn into more of a pop and drop pattern if those bears engage here at resistance? It's still in question, so watch that carefully this morning. And let's take a look at our um, IWM. Now, IWM, pretty interesting chart in here with a major resistance level above here in the chart. We still have a lot of questions to be answered here, but we've breached that downtrend just ever so slightly. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that. And if those bears react up in here, then we have to consider some of these support levels in the chart. There may be a little bit of price support right in here. And if that doesn't hold well, then we start looking a little bit lower here in the chart. And once again, I don't think we can rule out that possibility of maybe just a little bit of consolidating rest here to um, you know, catch that breather after such a dramatic rise um, in the market. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX yesterday, kind of interesting, um, about a half hour before the close, we had kind of a hammer pattern in here on the VIX. And then that last minute surge um, in the market as the dark pool activity came um, um, rushing in you can see we are holding right in here around that 24 25 handle and there is quite a little uh bit of price support in there uh, perhaps the pop-up this morning will actually help us break that down just a little bit it is bullish that we broke the um, upside trend that we've been running in for a while but just keep in mind there still is an an awful lot of uncertainty out there in the market we could certainly see this bounce around quite a bit but if we can continue to sink that would help a lot of things and certainly help those option prices with that implied volatility maybe pulling back so why that closely a, a level down here around 20 handle would be a nice potential target if those bulls can continue to um, support these prices let's take a look at our t2122 now t2122 does still provide us with some concern we're popping up here this morning and let's notice that our t2122 even though we did rest a little bit yesterday we're still up here in our bearish reversal zone we're still very extended in the short term on this market so this is suggesting that we may we may bounce around up in here we may fight up here we may consolidate up in here but we also have to remember 
I don't care how far back you go on T2122, when we reach these levels up here, we expect some kind of a rest or pullback in the market. So watch that closely here. That potential does exist. We're a little bit overextended in that short term look and a push up this morning only adds to that stretch. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now some good news here yesterday, T2108 did pull back yesterday, but um, that end of day surge helped out quite a bit. So we held up quite well here and I still have to give this one up to the bulls. We are uh, breaking um, or have broken this longer term downtrend in that chart. 54% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. But at the same time, this is a pretty dramatic surge in that move. And it wouldn't be out of the question to see us catch a little bit of a consolidation to rest or even a pullback to come back and test some of those levels of support. So watch that closely. Big solid rises like that as we punch into resistance levels, we have to be um, willing to acknowledge those resistance levels in the chart. And don't let that fear of missing out uh, push us into buying stocks right at price resistance. That's where we can find some pretty ugly punishment if the market does find reason for bearishness. And then our T2107 is um, also um, pulled back just a little tiny bit yesterday, but no dramatic move at all. But we still have a lot of work here to do. Um, notice that we've got some resistance levels above we need to deal with. But on the positive side, we're holding some support levels in that chart, although we just can't seem to get out from underneath that downtrend here. But 36% of the stocks holding above their 200 day is certainly a major improvement. So let's watch that carefully. And our T2101, interesting yesterday, um, um, we surged up yesterday. There was quite a little bit of selling activity in that early day with um, the tough talk from the Fed, concerns um, of possible um, cyber attacking from Russia as Vladimir Putin seems to be well, he seems to be kind of being pushed into a corner here, which makes him um, likely even more dangerous. So watch that carefully. Um, I still think we're in that situation um, here on the chart where a pretty substantial move is possible. And I can't tell you whether that's going to be up or down, but we'll, we'll want to watch that pretty closely. And then let's take a look at... Um, our economic calendar for today. We'll want to take note on that economic calendar that we have an extremely light day today, but that's going to change here um, relatively soon. So notice we have some more Fed talk in here, some bond auctions and announcements, not much to really inspire the market today, which does kind of lend that idea that we may possibly just rest a little bit or consolidate. Keep in mind that we have Jerome Powell again talking tomorrow. We've got new home sales as you plan forward here and petroleum status numbers. We'll want to keep an eye on that. And then just note that we've got the durable goods orders coming on Thursday. I know the desire is the fear of missing out. Got to hurry up and buy. Got to hurry up and buy. But let's keep in mind this durable goods order. The consensus estimate is suggesting that that will come in at a negative number. Um, adding more pressure to these in, uh, market internals that are just not showing um, good signs considering the condition of the consumer. So you'll want to watch that close. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar today. Now we have a, a number of companies listed here on the calendar, but at the same time, we have a large number of them that are unconfirmed reports. And what we're what we're doing now as we kind of wind down this quarter of earnings, we're really into a lot of the small caps, not a lot of major notables. But we did last night have a bit of a notable with Nike and surprising, um, well, it surprised me that they are getting a surge here in that move. This has been a very ugly chart, but let's keep it in mind here as we surge back up notice we're breaking that downtrend but we're popping this chart right into some significant price resistance levels of that chart so be a little bit careful here on a nike but overall in um, our earnings today it's going to be well um 
not all that exciting because there really isn't much out there that's a market mover today. Um, take a look, we've got CCL that we'll be reporting. We're gonna hear from rail today. Oh, nice move in rail this morning. Um, keep an eye on that railroad cars uh, apparently moving up. That's a nice break of that downtrend. So now any rest or pullback could set up an opportunity in rail. Um, Posh will be reporting today um, a lot of real small cap um, um, stocks will be reporting today ACH um, um, uh, GAN um, nothing that's really going to be uh, moving the market dramatically so what you might want to do if you want to catch that full list of notables click that link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list so how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up before we do that guys you guys know what to do uh, I just keep repeating this over and over but I do truly appreciate how everyone continues to, to support the channel and the channel continuing to grow. If you guys uh, find these videos to be useful, click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified when I post videos. And then also, thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Now my partner was out yesterday so I didn't get a chance to really answer those comments yesterday but I did read them all and hopefully you saw that I did note um, that I was there yesterday looking at those and um, today I will be back on task here in answering those questions and comments um, on YouTube. So thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that. Let's take a look at a few stocks that are setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to do your own due diligence. You never should follow anyone else's trade ideas blindly. You should always be paying very, very close attention to your rules and your risk tolerance for every trade. Let's take a look at a few of those um, that are, well, looking pretty decent. Yesterday, Coke um, surged back up here um, in the chart. Now, defensive sector stock stocks can sometimes do pretty well when the market's a little bit uncertain. But unfortunately, um, we had such a strong sell-off here in, um, in um, Coke. I do have a concern here that this rally back could create a lower high at price resistance here. So you'll want to watch that. This could go either direction where we could push on through to the upside or we could actually turn this into a little bit of a failure pattern here on uh, Coca-Cola. So keep an eye on that. Notice it, you might have to squint just a little bit, but you can kind of see that possibility of a head and shoulders top could form here um, on Coca-Cola if that pressure continues. However, um, when we start talking about food and energy, um, agriculture, all of those things, we do want to keep a close eye on these because those prices just continue to go up. If we take a look at some of those ag inputs, take a look at Archer Daniels, um, whoops, ADM, ADM yesterday, big surge to the upside, Archer Daniels continuing to move up. Now, I, again, I wouldn't want to chase something that has moved up so sharply, so strongly, but any rest or pullback that holds in on that tra trend would be something I would be interested for that next upside move. So take a look at charts like Archer Daniels, um, CF. Take a look at like DBC, the commodity um, tracking ETF. Very, very strong. You could also look to direct those direct um, commodities like um, CORN. Um, that is a very, very bullish chart. Corn prices continue to surge. And guys, I live in a farming area and I think that's going to continue because um, fertilizer prices have just gone through the roof. I mean, it's phenomenal. You know, the majority, the majority of our anhydrous ammonia comes from Russia and um, it, it's an essential product that farmers um, use. Um, to get those crops to really grow, grow and produce 
um, very well. And those prices have uh, more than doubled um, here in um, these ag areas. And there is real some real concern that um, farmers may not be able to um, afford or even um, get some of those essential fertilizers to keep those yields up, which has got some people worried that there could be some food shortages on the way. And that puts more pressure on those uh, prices of food um, as we move forward. So keep an eye on things like that. So um, commodities continuing to rise. Take a look at um, um, uh, oh shoot, now all of a sudden, um, Mosaic, really, really strong to the upside, um, kind of stretched out here. Again, don't chase this, but a little rest or pullback would suggest there may be some more upside um, in that chart. And I think those commodities just continue to surge uh, today. Um, let's take a look at uh, some other commodity prices, such as oil. Now our Brent crude, right at this moment, is pulling back just a little tiny bit, but Brent crude had a major surge yesterday. Took Take a look at um, some of these um, energy stocks. They've rested here a little bit and now they show that opportunity that they may be popping out and continuing higher um, in the chart so EOG um, Devon um, Exxon Mobil all starting whoops um, Exxon Mobil all starting to show those bullish signs here again in charts and there's quite a few of those um, I saw um, there was um, an upgrade in Schlumberger um, here from Goldman Sachs um, added to their conviction buy list. Not that that means anything, but we want to pay attention to the price action in these charts as these oil prices continue to surge and that should continue to support these prices um, higher. So watch those carefully. Other places that were in that commodity sector yesterday that you've got to pay attention to, um, we saw a lot of the mining stocks um, holding up looking very, very good. GDX, um, watch that carefully. A nice little uh, pop up here where we rested just a little bit, held that support, popped on up. Let's see if that can follow through to the upside. We saw uh, Newmont Mining moving up nicely yesterday, continuing to follow this little upside trend in the chart. You'll want to keep an eye on that. It may have to rest still a little bit, but watch that carefully. We're seeing a lot of those miners um, moving up. Gold and silver commodities continuing to show strength. We see strength in um, um, copper, copper uh, reaching back up here and now attempting to break out once again um, following that strength. Even aluminum showing strength, trying to break through some resistance and move on higher as all of the commodities continue to rise, um, showing lots and lots of strength and pricing pressure to the consumer. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that because as these continue, gas prices did moderate just a little bit here recently, but we're at like um, uh, 425 a gallon nationally um, with diesel prices at about 513, 514 nationally. Um, remember, as diesel prices continue to rise, it just adds more and more shipping costs to everything we buy. And um, that's going to continue to um, apply pressure here on the consumer. So we'll want to watch those things closely. Now, other places that you might want to look, there are quite a few stocks that have rallied um, dramatically, but may be ready uh, for a little bit of, whoops, um, uh, may be ready for a little bit of rest against some price resistance in the chart. Notice right in here, we've got quite a little bit of price resistance here in ADM. And even though it's pressing and pushing, watch some of those levels in here. What we want to be watching for is that possibility they can push out and hold. If they were to fail here, that could be a critical problem. And we're seeing that in some of um, these stocks, um, right, and big tech pushing into some pretty significant price resistance levels in the chart. So we're right at that place where we're going to make that decision whether or not we're going to be able to push through 
or whether we're going to potentially fail and continue that move to the downside. So you're going to want to be really careful buying stocks at price resistance with all of the uncertainties we have here in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Remember to keep those folks in Ukraine in your, on your mind because, oh my goodness, the suffering that is going on over there um, is tremendous. Um, certainly we have experienced a rough market, but it's nothing by comparison to what they have um, experienced. So with that, guys, have an awesome day, and I will see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care.